Far Cry Primal has arrived and I'm here to tell you the most important information about this game. All the horrible ways you'll die. So here are eight elements and enemies to be wary of. Now the Stone Age is the age where humans really started getting to grips with fire. It was the hot new thing. <laughs> They'd worked out how to harness it for their own use and using things like flint. However, you know what they say about playing with fire, so you should be careful, even though the Far Cry series actually totally loves you playing with fire. Okay, just go for it, it's a Far Cry game. Just be sure not to get too close to the flames or you could end up looking like a pork scratching. In previous Far Cry games, the protagonists were often encouraged to go swimming after treasures. In Far Cry Primal, whilst it focuses more on the land to fit in with the Stone Age setting, you do occasionally have to dip your toes in. However, you've got to be in and out of there pronto as to Car does not get special diving abilities like his series predecessors. He's much happier with his head above water where he can keep an eye out on everything trying to kill him. <laughs> Now, the last Ice Age was over by this point, but some areas Takar will explore are still a little chilly, and he doesn't cope well in the cold. You'll have to craft winter clothes to help you increase the time he can spend in the colder areas of the map. Should the cold meter reach zero, he'll turn into an ice cube. Another way to stop the meter going down is to top up your temperature next to fires, but as previously mentioned, don't get too close. <laughs> now your super cool pet owl acts as your literal wingman. Yes, I've made that joke before, shut up. Scouting the area from the sky for you as the people of the Stone Age hadn't quite invented wingsuits yet. So no face planting into cliffs. However, they had mastered climbing and you can use grappling points to help you reach higher ground. But as ever, be careful clambering around up here as one slip and whoops, you're falling through the air to your death. Well, to be honest, this element should really be Earth, as it's not the fall that kills you, but the smacking very hard into the ground part that comes after. I mean, it breaks your fall, but it also breaks every bone in your body. The first of the two tribes you come across, and if you don't have Frankie Goes to Hollywood in your head right now, then you're not human, are the red-painted Udam, a cannibalistic tribe who believe that killing people and eating them will gift them with their wisdom and help them thrive. Thumbs up if you like your meat cooked extra rare. They're armed with weapons like yours, such as slingshots, spears, arrows, and clubs, and they will attack on sight. So be prepared in case you bump into them. And remind me never to go to one of their barbecues. <laughs> The blue-painted Azela tribe are the slightly more advanced enemies who haven't devolved into rampant cannibals, but just think they're so much better than everyone else. Well, ooh, get you. In truth, they're just as bad. They just sacrifice people, including yours, to their sun god rather than to their stomachs. Thanks to their love of the sun god, alongside the usual Stone Age weapons, they also like to play with fire, which, as we've previously established, you're vulnerable to. So they attack you with it. <laughs> Damn it. Best take them out as quickly and as stealthily as possible. Out there in the world, there are plenty of big dogs, big bears, and big cats who want to add you to their menu. You can try to fight them all off or run away, but if you invest in a few skills as a beast master, you can eventually learn to tame some of them to help you, even using the biggest as mounts. <laughs> I personally love just petting them though. I mean, oh, look at their fuzzy little killer faces. Yeah. However, don't just look out for carnivores. Big herbivores can also cause you trouble. Mammoths, a furry upgrade from Far Cry 4's elephants with much shorter tempers, and elk are best steered clear from as they trample you to death out of defense. Yeah, whatever. I wasn't gonna come near you for all of those things that you're literally made of that will help me not die. It's fine, whatever. Big beasts are not the only thing you should worry about. There are plenty of smaller animals who will try to mess up your day. Don't get too near boars, as like in previous games, they'll have no problem running into you to get you to back off. And watch out for smaller predators, such as badgers, who are as ferocious as ever. You can eventually tame badgers, but be warned if you want to pet Mr. Snugglebug too much, as they'll quickly get fed up and will try to bite your face off. I think we know where the honey badgers in Far Cry 4 got their attitude problems from. Acquire sting bombs and you'll be able to throw handfuls of angry bees at your enemies, but throw it too close to yourself and instead they'll come straight for you. No, not the bees! Not the bees! So those are just a few ways you can die horrifically in Far Cry Primal. Which do you think would be the most painful? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe before we sacrifice you to our sun god. Bye!